Margo, and thank you very much for uh, letting us interview you today. Can you please tell the audience what you do with cats and how you help them? <laughs> well, if a stray cat or a, or a cat in need from any situation that it's in, any bad situation, um, comes here, I do for them whatever I would do for any cat of mine, and uh, that means um, anything they need, whether it's uh, vaccinations or spaying or um, this kitty was in a field, for instance, wandering around and nothing to eat, and the Picton firefighters took her initially from a man, and then uh, they fed her some ham and cheese sandwiches that night, and then they wondered what to do after that, so they thought of me and brought her out here. Well, that's Cats, how many cats do you have of your own? Well, at the moment there are over 50. Oh, wow. There are 11 in the house. And um, <coughs> we're out on the screened porch that I would say we made for us, but I think we made it for them. Oh, so wow. that they could come out our window and just have an outside place that's safe. It's really not safe to have cats outdoors. That works out well. All right, well, that's great. Uh, can you tell us what uh, inspired you to uh, start this? I knew you were going to ask me that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been asked many times. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> what happened is my brother, who lived in Ottawa, his name was Charlie, and he decided he wanted to help cats down there, and he decided we should both help cats. He formed a charity called Cat Shelters, and um, we're, we're both the main members of it. So I would look after stray cats up here and we would work together on it. And then he moved up here to the county and uh, established a place where there were a lot of big buildings and he had about 100 cats when he became very ill uh, with lung cancer. <laughs> and uh, he died after three months. And uh, I have carried on with his cats and my cats. And the building that we started in over there, uh, I have given that to the Loyalist Humane Society. They could carry on doing their work there. Whoa, that's, that's very nice. What's your best, uh, what's your favorite part about uh, doing this kind of work? Here? My favorite part is being successful in, in um, really helping the cat. For instance, this kitty here is going to jump up for us. She uh, had a very bad leg on the other side, and it was it was a big cancerous tumor there. Oh. So we had that leg removed so that she could have a life. Oh. And it's the satisfaction that I get from that kind of a that kind of a success. I see helping cats. Helping them. Yeah. And um, and then some of them get adopted to really good homes and. And I bottle fed him. He was only nine days old, and and that was 14 years ago. Oh. So we had 14 good years. All right. Well. Yeah. I guess uh, that's very cool and inspiring. Uh -huh. So uh, we need more younger cat savers, you know. Oh. You boys could be the next generation.